G'day guys, it's Omega back with another video. I've been absent for a week because i got Fallout 4 and I've been playing that. And I haven't reined in on uh, the stay on uh, travel to America from several countries because there's been so much coverage and so many YouTubers doing stuff. But this is what I do want to say. I guess this is what I find deeply disturbing about the whole thing. And that is the whole narrative that it is a Muslim ban is obviously a lie which has been created for the specific purpose of damaging the Trump presidency. Now, what upsets me is when you have people uh, in high-ranking positions within uh, the American government, when you have companies which deal in information all over the world, such as Google, um, and other in important stakeholders which blatantly are uh, blatantly coming out and acting on this manipulation, this false narrative, which they know 100% is a manipulation. So then you have to ask yourself, if these people really know what's going on, and they also understand that your average uh, Joe, your average leftist Joe, is completely um, captivated and incensed by this narrative they've created, which is a lie, why are they doing it? And it, it just points back to the fact that Donald Trump is damned if he doesn't, and he's damned if he does. And that these people simply want to remove Trump, and it doesn't matter what he does. It doesn't matter if he was, you know, the Messiah coming down from the clouds and he brought world peace. It wouldn't matter. These people want him removed, and they are creating any narrative they can. And I find it incredibly irresponsible of these large companies and people who know better to jump on board with this narrative purely because they're upset that it's uh, the Democrats lost the election. And that's basically all this comes down to. And we can fact check it and we can bring a sensical argument to the left, but the left don't deal in sensical arguments. We can scream all day and I see so many YouTube videos, Paul jo Joseph Watson and all these guys screaming, can't you guys see the truth? But these guys don't deal in truth, people. They deal in propaganda, they, de they deal in manipulation. And yes, we know Barack Obama flagged these seven countries. Yes, we know that um, American citizens are being killed. And yes, we know the correct vetting procedures are not in place. We know that this temporary ban on travel is far less than one Barack Obama imposed himself on Iraq. We also know that Jews are, if you've got a Jewish passport, you're not allowed to travel to 16 Islamic countries, yet uh, that's all forgotten, none of it's relevant, and, and, and apparently Islam is a race and to speak, uh, you know, and even to try and deal with Islamic terrorism is seen as racism. It, you know, it's a complete mangling of the truth. And we're in this damned if we do and damned if we don't. And then on top of that, you've got all the globalists who know that, um, you know, who have a set agenda, which is good for big business. It's good for corporations. It's good for their back pockets. So they're jumping on board and they're doing everything they possibly can to attract, to attract the, the Trump presidency, along with all of the sellout leaders throughout the world who've sold, the, sold their souls, sold the souls of their countries to the globalists, are all condemning uh, Donald Trump and jumping on this narrative for whatever political agendas it may serve in their own countries and, again, for <clears throat> their back pockets. I think the most disgusting example I've seen of this, uh, using um, uh, this travel ban and other events for political gain, it was from Canada, um, where, you know, this guy has gunned down people in a mosque. Um, you know, he's obviously a right-wing extremist, and in the story, they've said his views were uh, his views were right wing. He supported Donald Trump. He supported Le Pen, and he was an anti feminist. So, I mean, this is just how low they're willing to go to manipulate. They're now they're, they're, they're trying to paint the picture that people who just uh, voted for Trump or followed Trump, uh, people who support uh, nationalism, which is the um, the protection of basically our culture, our identities, the things we love about a country, looking after our own backyards, 
if you have those views, then you're ten. You, you're just like this guy that shot people in a mosque, who was a, who was an extremist nut job. And I don't accept extremism from any quarter. Um, and I just I found that disgusting. The the way and it just disgusts me the way these stakeholders who know better, these people who play these political games know better. Jump on the jump on the bandwagon with this narrative of a Muslim ban. Shame on you! You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, you're destroying your own country. You would see you would see rioting. You would see destruction of public property just for your own gain. This is Omega. I'll be back soon with another video, and I'm getting back to Fallout 4. Bye.